Kata is a useless form of practice. You've probably heard it many times and most modern martial artists would agree while most traditional martial artists would heavily disagree. And uh, here's my take on it, okay? Kata has its use. It used to be a form of practice to transfer the knowledge and the movements from master to student. So the original use of it was that you probably did not have schools like today where you could go training five times a week. Sometimes you did, sometimes you didn't. You met your master like once or twice a year and you practiced the kata together or the form together and you could practice the kata or form at home and preserve all the movements in a set pattern. But there's more to it. So when I started learning Wing Chun Kung Fu, okay, there's a lot of the, like that form, you know, Siu Lim Tao and stuff. And uh, my teacher told me right away that this is not meant for fighting. This is meant to improve your physical condition. It is, this is meant to improve your structure. And surely enough, a lot of the movements that you practice in like the Siu Lim Tao are very nice movements okay so like you bring your ankles into position where you improve ankle mobility you improve your hip position and your back position and you do a lot of those movements that are very challenging for your shoulder and improve shoulder mobility by a great deal okay so it's not only practicing the movements it's practicing the movements for your bodies, you're capable of doing that movements. And that is very important. Okay, now many people think that like, kata is just a bad form of shadow boxing and it is not. Okay, it's not you, usually. Okay, there's many different forms of kata. So some people might know a lot more about I, uh, a lot more about kata than I do. So if you get any additional info, like don't be shy, drop a comment, uh, teach me, inform me so I can learn more. But uh, shadow boxing is like a form of cardio and you, you know, you practice your combinations and you practice whatever you want to practice, footwork and whatever. And kata is set. And that's because it's very different. You sometimes kata has a very direct application, which uh, I believe in karate is called, uh, I forgot the word, sorry. Please drop a comment. I forgot the word. It's not kumite. It's... Uh, I forgot it. Never mind. Okay. But the point is that you practice the movements to increase your physical conditioning and to preserve the technique. Now, an uh, example that I always bring with modern martial artists when they say kata is useless because that's not the way you fight is... Do you do push-ups? And every modern martial artist does. Like every boxer does their push-ups and stuff. But do you do a push-up in a fight? You don't. It's not meant to be a movement that you do directly in a fight. It is meant to increase your physical preparation for a fight. Okay? You don't do squats in a fight either. Okay? But you can profit from having stronger legs, stronger upper body as well. You don't deadlift in a fight, but you train deadlift. Okay? You don't do like the same combinations 20 times in a row, like you practice on a bag or in pad work. But it will help you, it will make you a better fighter. And thus, I think kata forms, however you call it in your martial art, is still today a very useful way to practice. Okay, it will help you. Like I do yoga and doing sun salutations and stuff is no different than doing kata. I do Tai Chi and stuff, okay, and that's, there's no difference. It's a kata. It's a set pattern of movements which will help you. Not everything you practice needs to be sparring. Not everything you practice needs to be pad work, okay? There's many other aspects of martial arts and of fighting that you can train and you should not disregard them. You should not reject them. You should try to learn to understand why or some martial artists or some styles doing those exercises and what do they profit and then make an educated decision about how could this help you 
and is it worth the trade-off of your time and your energy involvement to get the profit from that exercise for your specific goal. So even if it may be fighting or self-defense or some very um, tight defined goal, you still may practice from exercises that you think are outdated and uh, are useless because you misunderstood the goal of them. Okay, once you learn more, then you can make an educated decision. Hope you liked that video about Kata. If you do, drop a comment, subscribe to see more videos about martial arts. I hope I soon get um, partners again to do some technique videos again. And uh, if you got any requests, again, drop a comment, write me a message and I'll hope to deliver. See you next time.